Hey book lovers, it's Becca from In A Bookshell. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new. Today we are going to be discussing The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. Now, I have professed my love for Jenny Han's books um, a lot on this channel so far because I read this book and I fell in love. I fell in love guys. You can also check out those reviews on my channel. I'll link them down in the description. But because I discovered Jenny Han's books, I decided to pick up one of her most popular series. It came out a long time ago. I mean, I was in middle school, okay? Middle school and now I'm a senior. I decided to pick up this book and first off, they made new covers for this, which I'm not a fan of the new covers. I like the old cover. It took me a while to find these because I got this one at Half Price Books, right? And then um, I finished it in a day because it's that easy to finish this book, guys. Then I went on to these other half, I literally went to two other half price books because I knew that they would have the old versions, right? And they didn't have them and I was so upset. So then I went on a bookoutlet.com and they had both of them for like two bucks, the old versions and paperback. So I picked those up and they still haven't come in the mail. They still haven't came in the mail. So for those who haven't read this book, um, which I can't believe you haven't, it took me forever too. I know, I know. This book is a very relatable book about this girl named Belly. Her real name is Isabella. I know Belly is a really weird name. It's just a nickname, I promise. She's 15 years old and every single summer, her, her mom, and her brother, they go to this summer house in Cousins Beach and there they stay with this family whose mother is best friends with their mother. They've grown up going to the same beach every single summer. And there, her mother's best friend has two boys. The oldest one is named Conrad, and the youngest one is named Jeremiah. You will adore this book, guys. I adore this book, okay? It made me think about my middle school years, okay? My middle school years, which you don't want to think about, but just made me like laugh about all the awkward situations that I used to be put in all the time. That's why like I'm kind of immune to like awkward things. Like when I'm embarrassed, like I brush it off because I've been embarrassed so many times in my life. Like if you're the same. This story is about this one final summer that she goes and finally the boys notice her. I gave this book a four to five stars, I believe. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I loved this book. It was so adorable. It's a coming of age story, and I really love that. It really brought me back to like my nostalgic years, and which wasn't that long ago now that I think about it. One thing I loved about this story is that they had flashback chapters of when she was like nine or 10 or 12 of her in the previous summers coming to the summer and she has this crush on one of the brothers and that one brother will never has looked at her in a way romantically but finally this summer they're finally looking at her in a romantic way. It's just adorable. If you haven't picked it up, go pick it up. I know I'm not very good at descriptions or describing how the book is but it is amazing. I loved it. It's four to five stars. Go pick it up. Now go, go and read it and then come back and watch the review so we can talk about it. For the people that read this book, oh my gosh, I love this book so much. There's so many awkward moments that just like, I just loved so much. So the reason that Belly likes Conrad is when she was like nine years old, he stood up for her when Jeremiah and Stephen were picking on her. So that was like the moment where she was like, I love Conrad. She had other love interests, like that one boy Cam, and Jeremiah likes Belly, and he even like said it at the end, you know, I like you, whatever. She's always had her eyes on Conrad, like nobody else will fit the bill, it's always Conrad. And I, I kind of relate, like I love Conrad. He was kind of like a mysterious, you know, boy, and I think all girls gravitate towards those kind of boys, especially a boy that she thinks that she will never get. One thing I really loved about this book is the relationship that Belly had with Susanna, who I'm, it's just so sad. Getting cancer again after she was in remission, and it's just, that's that was the sad part about this book. There's always a sad portion to a book, okay? There's never, there is no such thing as an all happy book. People go through struggles, and that was the struggle that Belly went through. Her rocky relationships with Conrad and Jeremiah, and of course, Susanna, 
getting diagnosed with cancer again. I knew she was diagnosed with cancer again. Like I just knew she was sick again because of the way that she was acting. She was always in bed resting. And just the way, you know, Conrad was so upset throughout the whole entire book. He was brooding and just grieving throughout the whole entire book because he knew that she was dying. And so Belly has this special relationship with Susanna because she's kind of like her second mother because Belly and her real mother don't really have a great relationship because her parents are divorced and of course she blames her mom for the divorce. One thing I wanted to like bring up was um, Conrad and Jeremiah's parents, Susanna and their dad. I think that their dad is divorcing Susanna when she is going through cancer and I think that's awful. You don't do that, okay? You made a vow through sickness and in health. And I just thought that that was another reason why Conrad and Jeremiah were just so sad throughout this book, especially Conrad. Conrad was brooding throughout the whole entire book. And we didn't get really get to know him a lot because of that. Um, we did get to know Jeremiah, which um, mm, I don't know how I feel about Jeremiah. I like him as a character. I think he's funny. I think that um, he's a really good friend to Belly, but not more than a friend. He was, to me, like he's one of those guys you just automatically friend zone. And that's exactly how Belly saw Jeremiah as a friend, not really as like a boyfriend. I really love the flashback chapters where she would go back to a certain age and you would just like see how she kind of grew up with these boys. I felt really bad for her best friend though, um, Taylor. I know some people like think of her as kind of like the devil because first she wanted Conrad and then she wants Jeremiah and then she goes for Belly's older brother. I thought Belly was a little hard on this girl. I mean, Taylor was um, her best friend. She was a good friend to Belly. I mean, she flat out told her, you know, which one do you want? I mean, you can't have them both, which is true. Belly can't have them both. Jeremiah was not stopping with, you know, flirting with Taylor the whole entire time. Obviously, Taylor is a teenage girl. She's 13 years old. She wants to flirt with boys. She wants to kiss a boy, okay? So she goes after Jeremiah and Belly kind of like made her kind of like the enemy. She shouldn't have done that because it's like, it's your best friend. I mean, your best friend wants to have fun. She's a girl. She wants to flirt with boys. And Jeremiah was just as much flirting with her. I could also tell that Taylor actually liked her older brother, Steven, because it's kind of like that love-hate relationship like she's gonna pretend that she doesn't like him but really she does like him just I just I understood it so much usually I'm always like mean to boys whenever I like them which it's just something I do I don't mean to do it it just happens so like I felt really bad for her character because it just seems like Belly was being really mean to her even though that is supposed to be like your best friend, she's not really doing anything wrong. The only wrong shady thing that she ever did was like kiss her brother and not really tell her that she had a crush on her older brother. This summer, Belly finally gets a boyfriend and his name is Cam, Cam Cameron. Conrad is just so possessive over Belly whenever she gets this boyfriend. He doesn't, he always is trying to intrude on their dates. I wanna talk about one of the flashbacks to where when Belly was like 12, and Conrad was kind of 14 or 15 years old. And he took Belly to the fair and she was so excited because she was like, maybe if I just like let my hand dangle, then he will um, hold my hand. And I'm just like, no girl, no, it's not what's gonna happen. And then he just kind of like ignores her the one at a time and then takes her to one of the games. And he all he does is stare at the girl working at the counter. And it just breaks Belly's heart. And I can just totally relate because he's older and he will never look at her the way that she wants him to. Because she's like 12 and this girl that she's competing against is like 15 years old. You know, her body's like already kind of like developed. Belly's 12, you know, she's not really developed. Conrad kind of sees her as like a little sister. But then finally, at the end of the book, she finally tells Conrad, you know, I like you, I've always liked you, I've always loved you. And he blows her off, and then Jeremiah and Conrad start fighting, and then Susanna comes out, and then she's like, you know, don't you? And you're just like, ugh, your heart sinks because you know what she's talking about. And immediately, Jeremiah and Conrad just start breaking down. And it was very weird to see Conrad, a person that you, from the beginning of the book is brooding, doesn't really have a lot of emotions, start crying, you know, for his mother. And I just thought that was just, ah, it was so sad. You could feel the heart wrench in the story through the pages. And guys, I read 
parts of the second book, okay? Because, you know, at the end of the book, they have, like, a preview for the second book. And, um, I'm, I'm excited to read the second book, but I just know it's going to be sad. So I really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed it. But I should have been surprised because obviously Jenny Han, her books are amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Comment down below your thoughts about this book. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.